If I think back, I can't actually tell you how I first set on my mouse grip. Maybe like you, I, my hand just conformed to whatever games I was playing at the time, probably Brutal or Warcraft 3. But when it comes to RTS or StarCraft in particular, not all grips are created equal. How you hold your mouse affects your accuracy and even how long you can play. The common advice is to hold the mouse however you feel comfortable, which if you're an FPS player, that could work out. But for most of us RTS players, well, let me show you. In this guide series, I look to showcase the most efficient and effective ways to play StarCraft 2. One thing that doesn't seem to get a lot of love is the fundamentals around improving interacting with the mouse. Now, if you really think about it, there are three things we want from our mouse when we're playing an RTS. Accuracy, precision, and endurance. These sound so obvious because who doesn't want their mouse to be accurate? But when people are talking about a mouse's game performance, they're usually thinking about it from the perspective of FPS players. After all, their games are pretty predominant. But in RTS, our mouse movements are different. And so it, to achieve our goals, we got to look through it through a different type of lens. Now, if we were to take a little closer of comparison of movements, FPS players do wide sweeping movements, while StarCraft players do a lot of jerky, small, fast movements. In StarCraft 2, we make a lot of box pulling actions, so we need a lot of range of motion. So not just side to side, but up and down. So let's talk about range of movement for a second. Looking at your movements in two parts, horizontal and vertical, setting a pivot point for your hand is critical to building consistent left and right actions. Think of a windshield wiper for a second. From its pivot point, the wiper moves the blade from its starting position always to the same end every time. It's the same thing for you. It gives you a position to perform precise actions consistently. That builds up your muscle memory. You can see something similar in other high accuracy sports. Competitors put a lot of effort to have a reliable reference point for pivot movements. This increases precision and reduces the errors. Now the type of pivot point will depend on where you rest your mouse hand on your desk. Closer to your wrist will be a more wrist-based pivot and closer to your elbow will be a more arm pivot. The widely accepted StarCraft style is a wrist-based pivot though, using the corner of your hand as this point. This little part of your hand when placed makes it very easy to find your pivot point again, keeping things consistent. Because when coupled with high DPI, your muscle to hand movement ratio is so small and results in greater mouse control, which is good for StarCraft. This contrasts the arm-based technique that puts the pivot point up in your shoulders, which makes large sideway movements smooth, but smaller precise movements harder. Now, of course, a wrist pivot comes with its own downsides. Because of the smaller muscles used, the risk of injury and fatigue is higher, but wrist pivot pairs really well with certain mice grip. So if the pivot point is horizontal, your grip is going to influence the vertical movements. There are three types, palm, claw, and fingertip. Palm is defined by the fact the entire surface of your fingers and your palm make contact with the surface of the mouse. This is one of the most common grips, but claw defined by the fact that as your arching fingers to form a claw shape, pull the mouse so it's just the back of it is touching your pit of your hand. Last fingertip grip looks kind of similar to claw, except the palm isn't touching the back. Mouse is gripped solely with your fingertips. Now, most of the time, there really isn't a clear advantage between any of these, unless you're playing a game like StarCraft 2. Remember those quick, small jerky movements? With claw fingertip, you're using your fingers to pull and push your mouse from your palm to make a small, precise movements. When you do the same directions with a palm grip, you'll be using those larger arm muscles to do a lot more work to get those accurate movements. So this makes claw and fingertip highly preferable, especially with higher DPI. Of the two, fingertip on paper offers the most precision and agility because your palm doesn't make contact with the mouse back and it gives you a lot of room to fine tune with your fingertips. But I don't think you should get hung up on choosing because you can see a lot of pros using either or even hybrids. You got Maru going full claw and Cell using a relaxed fingertip. There's so much room to find your style. Keep in mind that you know, one of the trade-offs of using these two grips is your hand becomes a bit more fatigued. But you can counter that by getting a mouse designed with your grip style in mind. Now that we've landed on your grip and your pivot, let's talk about your mouse. Fingertip style mice are lighter to combat finger fatigue. They are symmetrical and have a small form factor to give you more room before you hit the bottom of your palm. Right now, Logitech G Pro and the Super Light X are common fingertip mice, but some players have gone even smaller and lighter. On the other side, Mice designed for claw style players are ones with a high hump profile or have a high lift edge to prevent players fingers from dragging on the surface. For a long time, the Logitech G9X was a standard for StarCraft claw, but has since been discontinued. And mice like the Logitech G302 and the 
G502 have shown up in its place. When you're going through this, keep in mind, I made a lot of generalizations. And if you have really large hands or really small hands, it'll affect the options. So I'll link some resources to help you go through that. But if you're having trouble figuring out the rest of your setup, check out this video on, I did on how to make yours just like the pros. Until next time, good luck and have fun.